the, the following instructional video is to help with filling out section 11.2 water use report. This section or this form is broken up into three separate sections. The first one being the amount of applied irrigation water given in acre foot per acre. The second being the applied frost water given in acre foot per acre. And the third, the rainfall that, is, that uh, fell over the vineyard given in acre foot per acre. To determine the amount of water that you have applied during the season, there are a few important points of information to have. This information is used to determine your water usage and for completing section 11.3 nitrogen use report. The website UCCE irrigation calculator is an excellent tool for completing this section. Access to tool can be found in questions one and two. To begin the section, you'll need to have the total number of hours applied to a block, which form of irrigation that you're using, drip or sprinkler, row spacing, the total amount of water applied to a vine as a single or multiple emitter that each can apply in an hour, and the applied frost water for the total season. To begin with, if you call the UCCE spreadsheet, you'll notice three separate tabs. One, two, three. The first is an explanation of the reason or the purpose of the spreadsheet. The second irrigation converter is where you're going to put all of your information in, plug it in to get your number of inches. If you get the number of hours in some sort of a uh, database over a spreadsheet over the whole entire season, you'll be able to plug these numbers in. And an example of this is, for example, for is right here is the hours of runtime at two inches flow in gallons per hour. And this one down here, the second one is the hours of inches flow in liters per hour. If you plug in the, the total amount of hours, if you're given in gallons per hour in this box here, and if you plug in the emitter flow rate, in this example is one gallon per hour and a row spacing of 10.10 10, and then a, a six foot fine spacing, uh, it can, you can very easily calculate the number of inches that you've applied. For example, if you wanted to uh, change this to 500 total hours, you would then have 13.4 inches. Again, if you have 400 total hours, you would then have 10.7. If your emitters give you liters per hour, you would do the same thing. Uh, if you have 500 total number of hours and you have four liters per hour uh, per vine and you have a, a similar row spacing of 10 by 6, you can then get 14.1 inches per hour. The same if you have 400, you'll have less. You'll have 11.3. You then take these inches and get them into an acre foot. To do that, I've come up with a, a simple um, spreadsheet here. In these, I've taken the, the results of our um, previous water uh, or spreadsheet given in the UCCE. If you look at this, 400 hours gave us 10.7 inches. And I brought it to another spreadsheet that I made up. And essentially what we're doing is we're dividing the number of applied inches by 12 inches. This will give you the total uh, number of acre foot that you've applied to that acre. In this example, I've taken the liters per hour of 11.3 divided up by 12. Why 12? 12 inches a foot to give us the number of acre feet. So in both of these examples, just under one acre foot. To calculate the use of uh, frost water applied by a sprinkler, uh, for this section, you'll be asked the amount of water that is applied to for sprinkler irrigation as frost protection water. So if you don't have any sort of overheads, just put a zero right there. However, if you've applied something, uh, you'll need to get it into an acre foot per acre. To answer the section, you'll need to know the output of your nozzles of your inches per hour. In this example, I have a couple of different uh, different ways to do it. If you have a water meter, 
you basically know what the starting amount is and then whatever the difference is, um, divide that uh, number, which in this example is 30,000. So we, we started out and then we got a, a, a difference of 30,000 gallons, divided it by an acre foot of the number of gallons in an acre foot. That's 325,848 gallons equals one acre foot of water, gave us a 0 0.09 of an acre foot of water applied. Now, in some circumstances, we have manufacturers that make the sprinkler nozzles that um, that have measured it and know what the standardized uh, amount that a, that is given out on a per, a per on a per hour basis. In that circumstance, you would just basically multiply the number of hours that you've run the system to come up with the number of inches applied. In this example, the manufacturer had a 0 0.08 nozzle rate that gave us that amount of water in a gallon times the 12 to give us that much. In this example, um, we have a manufacturer that gave us the number of gallons per minute that came out, 4.2. Um, we then know uh, how much that we apply as uh, in an hour. So we multiply that by 60 to give us the number of gallons per hour. Um, on an acre, we have 20 separate sprinklers applying 252 gallons which will give us a number of 5,040 gallons per hour, acre per hour. And if we've ran a total of 60 total hours for the whole season, that'll give us 302,000 gallons per acre. Now divide that by the number of acre feet, and that will give you the total number of acre feet per acre. Again, that will go into this white box here after you're done. Now for rainfall, your data can come from C the, the local SEMA station, it can come from the PRWCA, wherever it would have for the annual up, um, amount that has been measured throughout the year. In this example, we, again, we need to get it to acre feet per acre. So we'll take the number of inches that, um, that, was, uh, that rain had applied or had uh, fallen from the area, divided again by 12, 12 inches to get us uh, the number of acre feet. Again, that will go in this section in your rainfall. So that completes the um, the filling out or the uh, the completion of a chapter eleven point two.